Hello people of YouTube, Sir Slayer, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to get all the keys to access the deal series. So without further ado, let's get going. So, the first thing you want to do is work to Drang Lake Castle, the King's Gate. And, if you don't already have access to Drang Lake Castle, then unfortunately you won't be able to access the, this DLC. But thankfully, this is the one that's required to access the last DLC of the list, the, um... The Shrine of Winter, which is obviously necessary to proceed in the game. Anyways, you want to head over to this store, and there will be a body right here. You see I already have it, because I've already been through this area. And that's where you get the Frozen Flower, which will, again, allow you to access the Shrine of Winter. Anyways, once that's done, Homer Bone back, and we'll proceed with the next area. Oh, by the way, they're not nearly all that easy. Well, all that fast and easy, so... Anyways, the next thing you want to do is warp to, not the Doors of Pharos, the Hunter's, or No Man's Wharf, whenever I can find it. Because we'll need to be buying some poison arrows from the guy, an NPC, a merchant, over in this area. You want to light your torch. Lighting a torch isn't necessary, but it's definitely recommended for this area, because this area has quite a few enemies, which will become permanently stunlocked if you do have a torch. Kind of like the spiders over in um, Cove Seldor. Let's keep going. It's going to be a ways. It's going to be past the... Um, I'm not entirely sure what they're called, but the things that, like I just mentioned, are permanently stunned by light. Alright. A little over halfway. There should be a house somewhere around here. There we are. Should be right here. Go ahead and pull your torch, you won't be needing it. Alright, you don't need nearly as many souls, so I'm just gonna buy all of them. Or, um, arrows, excuse me. Alright, now they have all those. Use a homer bone and keep going. Alright, the next place you want to warp to is to the Black Gulch, second bonfire, the hidden chamber. You'll need to light your torch when you get there, and you'll be need to doing some drops to get down. I covered this in my optional bosses video. Oh, didn't mean to do that. My optional bosses video where we went through the Dark Lurker, so you should already be fairly familiar with this area. I don't think I've gone in with this character, but just in case, I'm going to show you how to kill the two giants that are down here. Alright, you want to roll past these two. Again, roll past these. Drop down here. Oh yes, if you do get invaded, you can't enter the portal there, so... You basically have to quit the game manually, you can't just hit the quit button or use a homer bone or whatever. Anyways, once you're down here, equip whatever short bow you have. I have the lightning short bow. And I also... I don't have the X-ring. Using those poison arrows you just got. Go ahead and equip your bow, two handed. And there should be two giants, two giant warriors down here. Yep. They're extremely weak to poison. It takes about five, six arrows to get them poisoned. Uh, down the way, no worries. That's why we have extra arrows. I didn't seem to catch. Uh, like I said, it takes three arrows. Alright, and that's the poison. Once you have him poisoned, you just have to wait, like, a good 10 seconds or so, and then you can see he's taking consistent damage. He'll, his health will get down to a little below half, which is nice, because then you only need to hit, hit him with, like, two rounds of arrows. Alright, seems his poison is just about to wear off, so we're gonna go back. Probably shouldn't do this, but... I'm confident. Also, you do not want to get hit by these guys. They'll easily kill you if you let them, so... I tried to bay an attack there just to show it off, but... Yeah. Anyways, you should be dead here. You can just wait for your soul meter to go... or your soul count to go up by about 2200, I believe.
Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's about to die, so... Yep, up 4,000, wow. Twice as much. Alright, there should be one more. I'm not sure if you saw him earlier. He's right here. Thankfully, he has the same weakness as his friend. Yeah. I just got nicked by it, but... If you get stuck in one of their combos, it'll easily kill you. Alright, should be it. And there we have it. One more round of arrows, and then we should be good. Also, you want to be really careful, because I'm pretty sure that Gavlon is the only one who sells poison arrows in this game. Of course, there are poison daggers, but they don't work nearly as well, because you have to be within considerable, or considerably closer to the giants. Let's go ahead and heal. Seems the poison's wore off. And there is the giants. Look at that range. I should have uh, just enough arrows. And that should, yep. And now he's gonna die. Also, when they get low on health, I'm not sure about this, but I'm pretty sure that they do back off. Sort of like they know that they're going to die and they're gonna let their friend cover for them, but in this case, I'm afraid that doesn't work. Also, you want to go ahead and equip the Silver Cat Ring. You'll be needing it after this for the next year we're going to be going through. Alright, there are the souls. I'm pretty sure I already had the key to start out with. Yeah, the Forgotten Key. That's what it is. But anyways, that's how you do it. There's a little bit of treasure in this area. If you're wondering where I got so many flame butterflies, you... If you're familiar with the Drang Lake Castle area, then you'll... If you remember where the Estus Flask... The last SS Flash Shard, well, second to last of Alright, now that that's done, I'm pretty sure I haven't collected the key over in the Majula Pit. Anyways, you want to warp to Majula. You'll need your Silver Cat Ring again. Hopefully if I have enough health. I think you need about a thousand. I have about nine hundred more than that. If you have less than a thousand, then you'll have a tough time making these drops. Also, you might want to use a human effigy, but I know I have more than enough health, so... Let's drop down here. Nah, probably doesn't hurt. This next drop is going to be very tough to make. Nearly <laughs> botched it there. Well, it's not necessarily tough, it's just sort of a... Uh, it'll kill you if you don't... No, oh, it seemed I have enough. Remember that this uh, ladder is just opposite there, so you can't jump to it from there because of those boards. Anyways, head up here. Now there'll be a door which requires the forgotten key, which we'd already collected. There'll be a body inside on the left, and a number of miracles in the chests. If you're interested in miracles, then go ahead and open those. Nah, what the hell? I'll open them. None of these are mimics, by the way. Alright. Lots of powerful sorceries, so... Let's head back. Alright, that's two of the keys. There's one more. Again, I've already collected the prerequisite key, but I'm gonna go ahead and take you over there anyways. When I warp to the threshold bridge, first area of the iron key, If you haven't already gone through the Iron Keep and are interested in this key, then I highly recommend you continue on to it. There's a lever over in the Eigdol's Idol, I'm not sure you pronounced that name, but I think I got it pretty close, which turns off all these fire traps, like this Taurus trap right here. It's normally spitting fire, so it'll kill you if you try to pick up the key. The Iron Key is right there. Got invaded, so... I got invaded twice? What? Well, makes no difference. But <laughs> that's not happening this time around. Anyway, so there's a human effigy over there. If you have the flame stone quartz ring, you can go for it, but I don't. Anyways, from here you want to warp to the Cardinal Tower. You're going to be going.
going to an, an area, a doorway, right in front of the last giant arena. I've already seen it, but we didn't have the key for it earlier. And no, this does not warp back to the Iron Keep. Well, not warp, but uh, loop back to it. There'll be a knight in front of the door. Again, last giant already dead. Iron key. And there's a body. You can just barely make it out over there. You want to run past these things. These things suck. They'll kill you if you try to engage them more often than not. They're really weak to crossbows, and there's the heavy iron key, by the way. But, again, not a huge fan of those things. And that is all the keys. Make sure to check back in next time. I'll be going through the first DLC, The Sunken King. And that is the end of the video. Until next time.